Before we can calculate the oxygen transfer rate, we have to determine our oxygen demand. Depending on the wastewater treatment target, different factors must be considered to calculate the actual oxygen requirement, AOR. Design flows and loads. Water influence are not consistent and vary between daily minimum, average and peak flows. Design guidelines recommend dividing the average day of the peak month by 24 hours to calculate the needed aeration amount. BOD load. The amount of oxygen needed for microorganisms to decompose organic material is about 0.9 to 1.3 pounds O2 per pound BOD. Total nitrogen reduction. Nitrifying bacteria oxidizes ammonium, NH4+, first to nitrite, NO2-, and then to nitrate, NO3-. For this process, the bacteria need about 4.6 pound of O2 per pound of ammonium. As an example, let's assume we have an average day peak month flow of 100,000 GPD, 150 ppm BOD, and 40 ppm ammonium in the influent of wastewater treatment plant. The daily BOD loading is about 125 pounds per day and the daily ammonium loading is about 30 pounds per day. Therefore, the AOR per day is 125 pounds times 1.1 plus 30 pounds times 4.6 equals 275.5 pounds oxygen. Finally, the AOR must be corrected for environmental conditions such as temperature, pressure, O2 saturation and others. For wastewater conditions, the correcting factor is usually between 0.3 and 0.5, depending on the aeration equipment. The corrected AOR value is known as the Standard Oxygen Requirement, SOR. In our example, we use a factor of 0.4, which results in an SOR of 688 pounds O2 per day. Now we know how much oxygen per day must be present in the water so that the biological processes can take place. However, we still have to transfer gaseous oxygen into the water to get the calculated daily oxygen requirement. To dissolve gaseous oxygen into the wastewater, different products are developed by equipment manufacturers. Depending on the product technology, the oxygen transfer rates differ between 0.5 and 2.5% per foot water depth. The oxygen transfer rate, OTR, depends again on different factors such as the temperature, pressure, oxygen saturation and most important, the alpha factor which describes the differences of clean water to wastewater. For our example, let's assume we have 15 foot water depth which equals an OTR efficiency of 1.5% times 15 equals 22.5%. Therefore, the aeration equipment has to provide a total oxygen amount of 3,057 pounds per day. Last, the requirement of oxygen has to be converted into the total required air amount as the aeration equipment does not provide pure oxygen. Air consists to 21% of oxygen, therefore dividing our oxygen number of 3,057 pounds by 0.21 brings the total required air amount per day of 14,557 pounds or 194,000 cubic feet. Thanks for watching and if you like our 3-minute tutorials, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up.